pumpkin baby picture here. So I'm going to click on the picture of the baby and I need to save it. So I can two fingers at once to right click, two fingers at once to right click, and I'm going to save image as. And by default, it saves it to my downloads folder because I'm on a Chromebook. So I'm going to click this button that says show in folder so I can see it. If you're not on a Chromebook, you'll find it in your downloads folder. So I'm just going to move it over here. In fact, if you're on a desktop, it'll probably be sitting over here on the bottom left corner. All right. Now I'm going to go to this website called remove.bg. Remove.bg. So basically, it's going to remove the background from a picture. All right. So I'm going to go back over here to file. And it says to drag a picture. So I'm literally going to grab this picture of the baby and drag and drag and drag and drop it anywhere on the screen, it says. So what it's doing is it's literally removing the background. There was greenery behind them, and it's taking it all out. There we go. That's it. I'm going to click download. And look at that. It's going into my folder. So I'm just going to click show in folder. And there it is. And it's this one that says remove BG for remove background. Okay. So I'm going to hide that over there. Now I'm going to go back to Google Classroom. And I need a Google drawing that I can work with. So I'm going to go to add a drawing. And remember, anytime you make a Google drawing, it has that checkerboard look. And remember, the checkerboard look is transparent. So again, remember, the checkerboard look is transparent. Great, I have a transparent background. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the baby and drag it on the screen. Grab and drag. Let go. So we have a transparent baby on a transparent background. Okay. He needs something behind him. So let's go add a picture. So we're going to go to insert, image, and we're going to search the web. Insert, image, search the web. Let's throw him in a pumpkin patch. We're going to stick him in a pumpkin patch. Okay. How about this one? So I'm going to grab and drag it. Now, I want it to fill up this whole canvas. So I'm going to grab it to the edge. Now, please don't just do like most students do and just uh -uh, don't do that. That's just tacky. You're in high school. Bottom right corner, resize proportionally. Resize proportionally. Now, you got a bunch of empty space down here. OK, so I'm going to click on the canvas, drag it up so it ends there. Again, please do not distort things. Drag proportionally. Where's the baby? He's behind this picture. So I need to click on this picture, arrange, order, send it back. So arrange, order, send it back. Now that kid's a little too big for this pumpkin patch. So I'm going to click on him, make him a little smaller, and stick him out in the middle of the pumpkin patch. All right. When I think it looks great, here's what I want you to do. I want you to rename this. Something like baby pumpkin patch. I don't want all that stuff on there. I don't want your name on it. I just want it called baby pumpkin patch. Great. Now, file, download as a JPEG. File, download as a JPEG. So here's the trickiest, trickiest part of the whole thing. Go back to the assignment. I want you to add that file from Drive, that JPEG you just made. I want you to add that file from Drive, that JPEG you just made, the one with him in the pumpkin patch. Add that file. Notice it says image. That's what we're looking for right there is we're looking for image. I do not want to see your Google drawing. Delete it. The only file, one and only file I want turned in today is this one called baby pumpkin patch, the one that's an image, just that picture. Turn it in, turn it in, and that's it.